Hi, my name is Keith Childress of Practical Katia Training. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that if you wanted to view any of my YouTube video tutorials in high definition mode, please go to my website at www.practicalkatia.com and click on the tutorials link in the menu. Uh, you're going to see the tutorials web page has links to all of my YouTube videos complete with descriptions. And when you click on one of those links, you're automatically going to be viewing that video tutorial in high definition mode. Uh, as you're probably already aware, YouTube videos tend to be a bit blurry and the sound tends to be muddled, but the uh, quality of the video and audio of the high definition files is outstanding, so I really strongly recommend that you view them that way. All right, let's get down to business here. Uh, what I want to show you how to do in this tutorial is how to change the rotation center of your part. If I click on the rotate icon in the view toolbar and I hold my left mouse button down and move the mouse, drag the mouse, you'll see that I'm rotating the part. And you'll notice that every time I do this, there's an orange sphere appears in the center of the screen. That orange sphere is always in the center of the screen. Uh, what I want to show you how to do right now is how to change the rotation center so that you choose the, where at on your part you're rotating. So the way you do this is just put your cursor on the part. Like, for example, I'm going to put my cursor on that point on the right-hand side. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button down while keeping the mouse perfectly still, release the middle mouse button, and now you'll notice that the part has jumped to the center of the screen right where my cursor was at and now I'm rotating about that. Let's push the part over again. Let's do it one more time. If I put my cursor here on the part, I hold my middle mouse button down and release it, I am now rotating about that point where my cursor was at. Now you got to be careful because if you hold the middle mouse button down and move the mouse, you're really in pan mode now. So it's critical that when you place your cursor over the portion of the part where you want to rotate is critical that you hold the middle mouse button down and don't move the mouse and then release the mouse button. And that's it. Simple as that. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Again, visit www.practicalkatia.com. Click on the tutorials link to view any of my other YouTube video tutorials. Thanks again. Bye now.